Oklahoma City, home to the Wake Zone Cable Park, and today, the USA Wakeboard Cable National Championships. The best wakeboarders in the business have arrived in hopes of gaining a national title, plus a ticket to the next World Championships. It's an all-out battle of execution and innovation, and it starts right now. The All Games, presented by Jack in the Box. Almost dead center in the state of Oklahoma, you'll find the bustling capital, Oklahoma City, home to a busy urban center in the historic Bricktown neighborhood, as well as the site of today's venue, the Wake Zone Cable Park. Greetings, Wakeboard fans. I'm Chris Ernst, a.k.a. Uncle E, joined by Jeff Barton. And today we're bringing you the USA Wakeboard Cable National Championships, part of the Alt Games presented by Jack in the Box. For not only a chance at the national title, but also a shot to be on the USA Wakeboard World Team at the next World Championships. Thanks, E. We've got some of the best heading out here today. On the wakeboard side, we've got pros like Adam Fields and Julian Cohen throwing their hat in the ring. But look for cable lurkers like Nick Camper and Taylor Crest to really step up and show their proficiency on the cable. Well, Jeff, every competition has a, a laydown or a format. This is the Jack in the Box competition format. We have ourselves eight riders into the finals. Two runs per rider, your best score counts. Pretty simple. Winner gets spot on the USA World Championship team, and that's going to be a good old time. Speaking of good times, ready to get this thing rocking and rolling. First competitor takes the handle attached to a cable. 30 years young, Littleton, North Carolina is where he resides. Adam Fields is his name, and he's very well versed in the sport of all things wake, Jeff. Yeah, without a doubt, as you see him coming up onto this big transfer rail with a 270 out, this guy brings a lot of wake street credibility to the course right now, a former world champion. Also, he won a prestigious double up competition, the Bro Stock Double Up Invitational. But here you see him out here on the newest format, the cable. In that corner, he did an inverted move with a half rotation. It was called the roll to revert. Right there, a Rayleigh-based move, very stylish. It's called the Vulcan, and then grab the rail of his board. Now also, E, what you have to notice here is the continuity of his line as you see him going across that flat rail. That piece of element right there, that apparatus, you've got to be precise and on it. And that's right, a little Jersey fist pump from Adam Fields as you see him throwing one more heel side back roll. And then another air move. He does the Rayleigh and then does a backside 180. It's called the Rayleigh to blind or the blind judge. Another invert right there with a half rotation in the air, the roll to revert. And this is the coup de gras right here, Uncle Lee. The final move, the kicker. And he goes big with what's called a melon glide, grabbing between his heels and then landing 180 degrees different from what he took off. Well, Jeff, dare I say, what an epic way to start things off. Look, no wake to be thrown anywhere down below. It's a flat water trick right there, and that's the beauty of a cable sport opposed to a boat sport. Absolutely. You know, they are using this centrifugal force coming around those turns to do the inverts, and then there, the kicker ramp, and he launched it huge. That's a great way to start our competition. Well, 30 years young, experience speaking volumes. 53 is the score in his first run. Remember, two runs, best score counts, highest score wins this championship. Look into the field. Well, 30 years young, now we go 14 years young, not even old enough to vote. Please welcome from Florida, Noah Flegel. Now here's a former boys division world champion. And you know what interesting with this kid in 2011, Sports Illustrated for Kids chose this young man as the sportsman of the year based upon his athletic skills, his community service, his academic grades, really a complete young man. Right now you're seeing a few of the tricks, a few of the maneuvers. Look at that, grasping the cable, the handle on the cable, and able to pull up on the flat water. Totally different than what you've seen before by chance behind a boat at a lake, maybe at your hometown or your home, your home neck of the woods. And you know, one thing I have to notice about what's going on here, Uncle Lee, notice how busy he's staying. Adam Fields was a little bit more methodical, whereas Noah Flegel is all over the place. Now, he lives in the dirty south of Florida, as you see, with a big tantrum to blind. He spends a lot of time on the cable, and it certainly looks like it right now. He's nailing this run. You mentioned something earlier about the blind judge. Folks, we do not have an actual blind judge, because that would be very hard to judge. <laughs> it's actually... Uh, 
a maneuver like landing right there, he's blind. He's not seeing where he's landing. So there's a judge that focuses on that very specific discipline or trickology. And it's a huge, huge piece of the wake world this day and age. Wow, and he's gonna wrap it up with a toe side 720. Uncle E, Noah Flegel stayed so busy. That was unbelievable. The bar has been raised. Well, the all games presented by Jack in the Box. Truly spectacular for oldsters and youngsters. And look at the prowess here of Flegel. We're going to check him out now coming into this. The kicker meant to launch you up. He does what's considered a tangent, but then you saw the late rotation, the backside 180. And now watch, there's not one, but a second spin, barely getting it around, but it counts. Yeah, two full rotations or a 720, lands it. Flegel with a 64 commanding first place over our first competitor, Adam Field. So youth taking it away from the vet right now. That's what the all games here. Presented by Jack in the Box is all about. You're just starting to get a taste of what things are shaping up to be at the Wake Zone Cable Park here in Oklahoma City. Stick with us, don't go away. It's gonna get wild, wacky, dare I say weird, when we come back. The Alt Games on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Jack in the Box. There's no curfew for late night cravings, so stop by Jack in the Box where the entire menu is available all day long. By GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit GEICO.com for a free rate quote. And by the next generation Honda Civic. To each their own. Your first move doesn't happen on the field. It happens before your opponent even sees you. It can leave you hanging, steal your spark. Your first move can jeopardize everything you've worked for, or fuel it. Your first move can set up your success before you've even played the game. Carb energy to fuel athletes. Gatorade Prime, part of the G-Series. This is Mike. Mike's being healthy and chewing like a man. Introducing one-a-day Vitacraves for men. It's a gummy multivitamin with more vitamin B to convert food to energy and help Mike do manly things like wrestle bears and take out the garbage. New one-a-day Vitacraves for men. If you're one of over 50 million adults who suffer from a sore mouth, consider New Act Sensitive. The soothing alcohol-free formula has maximum fluoride to rebuild enamel up to two times stronger. New Act Sensitive. Strong teeth, fresh breath in a sensitive formula. What happened last night? Apparently we went to Jack in the Box at 1.54 a.m. and got nine orders of tacos, four seasoned curly fries, and seven real ice cream shakes. So who drove us home? I did. Oh, why are you still here? He dared you to eat my key. Then why don't you call a cab? He dared you to eat my phone. <laughs> trying to get wakeboarding into the Olympics on cable for 2020, and I'm part of the Olympic committee for trying to get it in. What that would mean for the sport would be a massive boom in, in opportunity for athletes to get to the Olympic Games, which is the pinnacle. The fact that there is something like this that's going on now for the United States for wakeboarding, and it's going on with cable, I think it makes everybody take it even ser more seriously, and it makes people want to join uh, cable wakeboarding and switch from boat to cable, just so they can be a part of this great thing that's going on. We're real excited about it. There's eight sports that are under consideration right now, so we've made the list of the top eight. I just know that we have a good opportunity. We're hoping to take advantage of it. You know, to be here at this time with this opportunity, it's, it's amazing. I never thought I would be a part of this, so I'm really excited. Very exciting indeed. I can tell you as being an advocate and a pioneer of the sport of ski across for the Winter Olympics, I can tell you this is a very exciting time for the Cable Wake community. So hope it gets there in 2020. Time will tell the story. Our judges, they have themselves a challenging job indeed. They're looking for specific criteria. Let's take a look at the keys to victory presented by the Honda Civic. Jeff? 
diversity. Make sure you're hitting your air tricks as well as all the rails on the course. Execution, make it look like you mean it, stomp it clean, and of course, intensity. Oh, Don't go small, yeah. take it big. <laughs> intensity, that's what you're coming into the booth with here, Jeff, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Age 16, this man. young man, Dylan Branch. I like the youth out here, and what they're doing is they're speaking to you, the crowd, and to the public, saying this is something that should be in the Olympics, and watch his intensity, his diversity, as we watch, as well as the judges. Well, as we're seeing the cable systems now become more prolific across the United States, there's guys like this young man. We've got no experience with him as a wake rider behind a boat, but look at him out here on the cable. A fresh face who obviously is just killing it. There you see something taken from the wake game, a toe side rally in the corner, and then a rally to blind right there. So just as we said, he is staying busy. There's a humongous S-Pen, and now he's gonna come up to the part of the course that's laden with the rails. What I'm enjoying about this is there's no other wake to really contend with. Out on a lake, you have a bunch of boats going this way and that. Smooth, flat water, good conditions, or equal conditions for all competitors. And that's the thing that the Olympic Committee likes. There's no motorized vehicles in any Olympic sport, yet with the cable, they can guarantee an equal competition for all. And now you see Dylan Branch showing his time out there on the cable has been well spent. You see the roll to backside 180, and he's coming in toe side for his final hit on the kicker how's he gonna wrap it up oh, oh it would have been a tootsie roll but he went down and that's the nature of the sport when you're going for diversity and solid intensity that's gonna happen jeff take a look here at the beginning of the run going up to the fun box look at the transfer has the presence of mind to grab before going in getting that lip to 270 out super smooth move and then watch he goes up oh it's a front roll with a backside 180 but did you see he broke at the waist and got stretched out We'll see what the judges say about his diversity and execution. There's a 57 on run one of two, currently in second place with a lot more runs to go. Here, man. Thank you, sir. Gives a high five to the crowd. We look down to our next competitor. It's Kyle Cameron out of Austin, Texas, home of the South by Southwest Festival. 23 years young. What's this kid got in store for us, Jeff? And you know what? It's also home to another Wake Cable Park that's out there. So again, I'm expecting big things from this kid as you see him throw a big 540 as he gaps that fun box. I like that little hit right there. It pushes the athletes out to the outside of that corner. Very unique hit. Now, surprised to see him not throw an air move right there. Oh, but that's a smooth one. A front to blind 180 right there, Uncle Lee. Little bit of a junior bat wing right there, kind of missed the grab. He's showing some diversity, but we'll have to see what he has for this rail section. Keep in mind, you'll see a couple of these orange buoys here and there. That's kind of the playing field. You got to stay in between. Then you can have a, a slope style expression session, do whatever you want on the kickers and impress the judges. Well, that was impressive right there, that last move. He threw an indie tantrum, grabbing between his toes and then took it to backside 180. Then a nice rewind right there he is really doing it right now Kyle Cameron is stepping up Kyle Cameron showing off his style a little butter 270 on 270 off and the final move a nice toe oh. side backside 540 look at that I don't think I saw a smile on his face the entire time that usually equivalates with intensity so as you said as we're looking for the diversity of trick rock solid we're taking a look in his notice. He's in the corner right there. It's a back roll, and then he rewinds it with a backside 360. And there's the Indy tantrum, and then the late 180. And talk about the execution. He stomped everything. And judges award him for that. A 73 slides into first place. And we have the women coming up, the legendary Dallas Friday and Megan Ethel looking for that coveted spot on the world team. Will this become an Olympic sport? I'm thinking it just might. Stick with us. We'll be back in a minute. USA Wakeboard has proven to be the nation's leader in collegiate wakeboarding. With the continued success of the Collegiate Wakeboard Nationals and CBS Sports Network, we want to see you at the next USA Wakeboard Collegiate Regionals and Collegiate Nationals. Join or start your school team today. If you're one of over 50 million adults who suffer from a sore mouth, consider New Act Sensitive. The soothing alcohol-free formula has maximum fluoride to rebuild enamel up to two times stronger. New Act Sensitive, strong teeth, fresh breath in a sensitive formula. The American Legion honors our newest generation of warriors and veterans. Please join us in supporting and recognizing their unique contributions and needs. 
the unemployment rate among veterans is unacceptably high. They are a proven commodity and they deserve a chance to get back to work after serving their country. Hire, Hire them. Today, more than ever before, women are on the front lines of America's defense. They deserve to be recognized for their service as guardians of freedom and to receive the best treatment and care we can provide. Let's not forget our wounded warriors and their families as they return home. We cannot allow them to be forgotten and left to fend for themselves. They deserve more. And let's honor the families who sacrifice so much every day. As the service member serves, so does the family. Please join with the American Legion to find out how you can truly honor America's newest generation of veterans. Go to legion.org slash honor veterans to find out more. Division I student athletes have higher SAT and ACT scores than college-bound students. The number of us receiving diplomas is at an all-time high. African-American males who are student athletes are 10% more likely to graduate. Still think we're just a bunch of dumb jocks? You need to do your homework. There are over 400,000 NCAA student athletes, and just about all of us will be going pro in something other than sports. Welcome back to the All Games presented by Jack in the Box. We are in Oklahoma City, Bricktown, the social place to be to hang out for some barbecue and after maybe some basketball with the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's right. Well, we're here for a wakeboard competition. Those are cables you see overhead. Gentlemen like this, Austin Hare, will hold on to a handle that's attached to a cable. Yes. It'll start. He'll go flying fast. We are continuing on with the finals. Austin Hare, 24 years of age, first run of two. He's an OG in the wake game, a professional wakeboarder. In 2006, he was the pro men's wake skate champion. So talk about a guy who's dynamic and has all kinds of riding steeds behind him. Here he's going after a national championship in cable. And I can assure you, he'll be well prepared as you see him with that air move, a back roll, and then he did a backside 180. Oh my gosh, right there. He takes an S-bend, an overhead Olay 360, and then does an additional backside 180. Austin's looking strong. When you're sliding a rail, you want to stay on the thing as long as possible. That's when you get awarded the most points on the booter. Lands blind, switches the handle pass one more time. 